Well, this weekend, Western New York lost Robert Wilmers, a respected banking leader and philanthropist, uh, as well as a supporter of the arts. He died suddenly and unexpectedly in his home Saturday night. He was 83 years old. Channel 2's Emily Lampa joins us now to tell us about the mark he left on the Buffalo community. Well, Adam, Robert Wilmers was a banker by trade, but friends and colleagues say that he worked equally hard during his lifetime helping others. As many people know, he used a considerable amount of his influence at MMT to support and advocate for public school children in impoverished Buffalo neighborhoods. One of his projects, having MMT adopt Public School 68, turning it into Westminster Community Charter School. This would be the first of a handful of other schools adopted, which he would call the Buffalo Promise Neighborhood Schools. New York State Senator Chris Jacobs remembers the time that he worked with Wilmers when he was a Buffalo School Board member. He believed in leadership, but he believed in leveraging the resources that he had at that bank uh, to help, and I think it, uh, it's unprecedented what he has done. Senator Jacobs says that he witnessed so much of Wilmer's passion and generosity, not only for Buffalo schools, but also for arts and culture. And coming up at 6, we'll have insight from the director of the development at the Buffalo Philharmonic Orchestra about Wilmer's support there. Emily Lampa, Channel 2 News.